Hey, what's up you guys? It's Megan and today I'm going to tell you how I won $116,000 for free for my startup. And uh, for the thumbnail, I'm going to put on shades and act excited. Wow. So what do I mean by free? By free, I mean this is money that I didn't have to pay back, that I didn't have to give up equity for, and that I didn't even have to sell products to get. Crazy, right? Right. The absolute best place to find free money for startups and how I funded my company without investors is business competition. Wow. In just over one year, I won $116,000, six months of mentorship, and a couch from business competitions. I can't believe people don't talk about this. I won the couch and mentorship from the Skims Get Off the Couch competition. Yes, that is a candid photo, and yes, I realize how cheesy my response was, but it was my first competition when outside of DECA, and I think I was in shock for a good hour. That was followed by the Busy Coffee competition for $5,000, the Youth Division of the Minnesota Cup for $10,000, the Fowler competition for another ten k the Schultz Business competition for fifteen k and then I flew my ambitious self to Harvard one night and slept on my friend's floor and won $1,000 the next day, winning the International Women in Business Pitch Competition. I wrapped up my competition run with my biggest win and a competition that runs annually, if you're interested, eFest for $75,000. I definitely cried when my name was announced. I was in shock because it was hosted at my school, and so I thought it would have been a publicity nightmare if I won, but I guess I was just really good at pitching, which I was. That was that was my grand finale, best pitch of all time, last pitch of all time, and I'm really proud of how it turned out. Cue the cute throwback video. Second place and the recipients of $40,000, bus right. No way! <laughs> So that all adds up to $116,000 that I won in just over a year when I was 18 years old. And so if I can do it, you could definitely do it. So I know you're here to learn how I did it, but first I need to ask one teeny tiny favor from you that will take you just one second. I need you to direct your attention to the bottom left corner of the screen. There's a like button, which people so rarely hit for my videos, it makes me feel underappreciated. Also, I think this video has great content and I think people need to know how to start a business without money so that they don't, you know, waste their time going to Shark Tank, trying to get in front of investors and giving up equity or spending all their life savings on their first business. This is, I think, great advice that anyone can use. So please, please, please give it a like so other people can hear this advice as well. Okay, thanks. Let's dive in. So there's two things you need to know to win first place at every business competition you enter. The first thing you need to consider is strategy, and the second thing you need to consider is techniques. I'm going to go over strategy in this video, and I'll post the techniques video tomorrow. So the strategy that I used to win $116,000 across six business competitions was to only enter in business competitions that I knew I could win which seems pretty obvious, but determining the competitions that I knew I could win was a strategy that I developed all on my own. The first thing that I would look for was competitions that were in their first year. If I was going to compete against a nationally recognized competition, it would be something that colleges were sending the best of the best students to that had a reputation and probably lots of training. So I knew I didn't have a chance at those competitions in the beginning. So the first three business competitions were in their first year. It was the Skims Get Off the Couch competition, the Busy Project, and the Youth Division of the Minnesota Cup. In the first year, there will be less competition because less people know about it and because schools will not be training people with anticipation of putting them into this competition. The second strategy that I used when finding business competitions was to enter the business competitions with the smallest prizes at first. And to a lot of people, this seems counterintuitive. Why not enter the big competitions that offer $100,000 prizes? So if someone is investing $100,000 in the winner of the business competition, they wanna make sure that they'll actually know what to do with the money and not just use it for college tuition and a fancy vacation. 
And in order for them to select that person, it is likely going to be the person with the most business experience who actually has an operational business, a product that sells, and revenue history. So those were not competitions that I knew I could win in the beginning. Instead, I opted for the smaller competitions where the prize was just mentorship, a couch, $10,000, $5,000, because it wouldn't make sense to give $5,000 to a company that is already making $5,000 a month. It makes a much more compelling headline if they give the $5,000 to someone who is just getting off the ground and may not have been successful otherwise. So the strategy is to enter in new competitions with low cash prizes in the beginning. And then once you have some experience under your belt, you can go for the bigger competitions with higher cash prizes. The third strategy that I used as a young person, I was 18 years old when I was competing in these business competitions was to enter competitions with an age limit because then you know you're not competing against someone you know that used to work for a big medical company and is curing cancer right now because it's very hard to compete against those people. So I think that five out of the seven business competitions I entered were for students only and that just helped me have a chance of winning. Because I started my business when I was 17, I had a lot of experience under my belt and some of the students had only started in college, so they had less experience under their belt. I know that piece of advice doesn't apply to people who might be older and starting their business, but for my kiddos, especially uh, people who are in business organizations in high school, definitely start a business plan now, start competing it now because you are gonna have a leg up in these competitions. Those are my three strategies on how to enter the competitions that you are most likely to win. And even if you don't win, there are also three different ways that you can gain a ton of value just by competing. The first is that by refining your business plan, your pitch, and by answering the judges' questions, you are learning and practicing ways to add the most value to your business. Business competition judges have asked me things that I didn't even think of, like, are you going to have a subscription service? Are you going to need FDA approvals? What type of restrictions and regulations are there in hospital channels? These are questions that I wouldn't have even thought to ask, and they really helped me out as I grew my business. The second way that you're going to gain value from these business competitions is from following up with the judges. So I would always hand out a sample of my product and a business card. I usually networked with the judges after and got their information, but I think it would be really useful if you wrote on the business card like, please follow up, I'd love to ask you more advice, email me what you thought of my presentation here. Remember that these judges are typically seasoned business professionals and there's a reason why they're qualified to judge a business competition so make sure that you find a way to stay in touch after if you don't like the business card idea you can also look up the names of the judges on linkedin and send them a friend request or use rocket reach to get their email from linkedin that's one of my favorite tools and the third thing that will add so much value to not only bit your business but your life is to make friends with the other competitors at this business competition. Remember that these aren't actually your competitors in real life. If you're doing an app and someone else is selling cheesecakes, you're never going to compete against each other. So you guys can become friends and ask each other about what accountants you use and what you're doing for legal and if you got any good advice lately and how you manage your time and you can bond over the lack of sleep that you get and the eternal questioning of what you're really going to do with your life, which happens to all entrepreneurs. From the business competitions that I entered, I made many, many friends, many of which are still my friends to this day. And it's just so nice to have someone in your position to relate to because it's not very frequent that you run into someone and realize that you're both entrepreneurs competing in business competition. So all in all, if you follow the strategies in this video and my award-winning techniques that I will post tomorrow, you will have a very good chance of winning money at these business competitions. If you are competing in DECA, feel free to DM me on Instagram or Facebook. 
I would be super interested in trying out coaching for business plans since that is something that I was so focused on for years and I haven't been in a while. So if that's something you're interested in, shoot me a message. I'd love to give you some personal advice. I was also a judge for the business plan competition. So I've read and scored business plans as well. So hopefully I can help you out. Anywho, I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.